What's up guys, Eek with East Coast Ken, and today we're doing a lot of regular maintenance. Here on the Del Sol, we gotta do an oil change, take it home, grab the Suburban, do an oil change on the Suburban, and change out the valve cover gaskets, and then we'll get to the Eclipse and we'll do some motor mounts. However, the Eclipse is gonna be a different video. I'm gonna show y'all how I do an oil change, so let's get to it. So as you can tell, I've got the jack stand and the jack underneath the Del Sol, and it's lifted up. Each jack stand is set at five different clicks, so when I pull it up, it makes a click, and I put it at five for both of them, so I got plenty of enough room to get in there. This jack stand is a red torn, which I believe is from Tractor Supply, and it does have the safety pins in it. And this is a central hydro hydraulics jack. I think that's an old school Harbor Freight one, I'm not sure. But uh, I leave the jack stand under it, or sorry the jack under it as well and then same thing on this side I've got the jack stand set up with the pin in it and right up underneath there you can see the bolt to the oil pan so let's go ahead and get this swapped out all right so for the Honda it's got 259,000 miles on it I use actual Honda brand stuff. So it's 5W30. There's the crush washer. And it is a Honda OEM filter. And for the price of it from the Honda dealership, those are the part numbers for a 94 Honda Del Sol. It's the 1.6 liter single overhead cam. Out the door, 49.32 plus my time saves me about 30 bucks from having it done someplace so let's get underneath the car with the 13 millimeter and let's get that oil pan bolt out so as you can tell from around there and up here and on my finger whoo, where's my finger right there we've got a slow oil leak that's because there's no crush washer underneath there now i had the last oil change done someplace and uh well, that's why I'm doing it myself. So let me see if I can get y'all set up to where you can see what I'm doing. All right, guys, so it's a 13 millimeter bolt. And I'm hoping this oil pan is big enough for this. Because if not, dad's going to be mad. Let me get cleaned up while this is draining out, guys. Alright, folks. So we have the crush washer. And we are going to wipe this area down really good. To see if we can't locate where the bottom end or top end of the motor oil leak is. Now I will say the one good thing about it is it won't rust with all that oil. It coats it. Huh. I don't know. It's pretty dirty under here. Especially since my parents live down a dirt road. I know it's like a perfect country song. Driving down a dirt road gonna change my oil I should probably never do that again I'm sorry but that cleans most of it up 
And now we'll take the 13. And we'll tighten it up. Now I'm sure there's a torque spec for this. And I'm sure Ed the old tech guy can get it for you. But one can nugga dugga is good enough for me. Don't do what I do though. Um, definitely find your torque spec. I just unfortunately don't have a torque wrench right now. So even if I knew what it was, I still couldn't do it. Yeah, that's that's snug as a bug in a rug. All right, guys, I'm going to readjust the camera and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, so again, this is stuff that you can do at your house. This stuff right here, like this older jack and these older jack stands, you can pick up at yard sales, Facebook Marketplace, offer up places like that and you can do this stuff and save yourself some money over the long run so we're gonna tighten her up lift her up just a wee bit pull the pin out release the jack stand and then slowly slowly lower the car let's do the same over here Let's try that slowly again. That was a little slower. So one of the downfalls of trying to work on your vehicles and record and make YouTube videos is sometimes you kind of forget things. So as you can tell, I already lowered the Del Sol, but because I was worried about the YouTube video, I forgot to change the oil filter. So let's raise it back up and see what we got to do. So I know it's upside down, but I don't even know what micro guard select is. Um, I was able to get it from that side. So let me get that new oil filter on guys. All right, guys. So I used to put this stuff in the vehicles when I did the oil changes. However, after talking to a bunch of people from text talking shop, specifically cast with speed wrench uh it was advised that i don't need to do this because i'm using oem factory stuff so uh this is going to go back to walmart now i'm sure it's kind of hard to see but all i do is i just dip my finger in there get some oil on it and rub it around the new ring and another thing i do is i write when to change the oil at and the filter at for the next time so 261k on the side as well just a little tip for you guys. All right, I'm not sure how well y'all can see that. But when putting the new oil filter on, yeah, you don't want to wrench it down. It should be hand tight. And make sure you don't cross thread it when you're putting it on. Come on. Why is that not going on? There we go. Now it's starting to go on. Stopped my strong hand. Hand tight, guys. That's all you need. Again, this stuff is no bueno. Whoa, 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 whoa. crap. All right, guys, so here's a tip for you when you're pouring your oil. If it comes out glug, glug, glug like that, rotate it. As opposed to that. Nice and smooth. All right, guys, last but not least, 
check your oil level. And we are a skosh high, but that's okay with the small leak that we have. Now, one thing I will tell you, if you're buying a used car, when you check the oil, if the oil level is fresh, like it's, it's new oil, you can tell by the look of it, and it's high, that's something people do to try to hide like a tick or a bad main bearing. So that's something to be on the lookout for. So on the RPM, sorry it's bumpy guys, we do, my parents do live down on dirt road. On the RPMs, that middle gauge, that's the oil light indicator, we've got nothing. I'm 99.9% .9 sure we are good on this oil change, but always double check everything. Ooh. All right, guys, so the Del Sol is all done. The only thing left to do is uh, close the hood, crank her up, drive home, and get the Suburban. So there you go. Simple oil change at your house. Anybody can do it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one.